Our top story this morning, the market sell-off. As it stands right now, let's give you a better idea of exactly the type of pressure that we are seeing across the board. You've got the Dow on track to open the day off just over 1,200 points. We've seen this market sell-off, which started overnight over in Asia when we saw the massive drop in the Nikkei. Now that is spreading on a global scale. Taking a look at some of that other pressure that we're seeing in addition to the Dow futures, also the S&P 500 futures, that's on track to open the day off just about to 4%. When you take a look at the NASDAQ 100, a lot of the pressure that we're seeing being led by a massive drop in a lot of those tech names. As a result, you've got the NASDAQ 100 actually set to open off just over five and a half percent. So that's really telling you just the fact that the NASDAQ taking the brunt of that selling. Now, when you take a look at some of the other action that we're seeing here, uh, here at the open or ahead of the open, I want to take a look at the semiconductor index and also what we're seeing in some of those larger cap tech names, because that really tells the story of some of that selling pressure that we are seeing very much across the board. You don't have to look any further than the NASDAQ for that. And when you take a look at these smaller uh, numbers that are on your screen right now, those are the pre-market moves. So most of that here in the red, you've got Apple on track to open the day here off just about nine and a half percent. That's selling also carrying over to the NVIDIA. You've got NVIDIA off just about 12 and a half percent. There was a report out from the information just about delays in that Blackwell chip. That's really start, I guess, aiding to some of that sell off that we are seeing, but really it is broad based selling. You've also got Microsoft set to open the day off just about 5 percent to Google firmly in the red. So those mag seven names that had been carrying the market now for so long, really leading the way to the downside. I talk about some of that pressure from NVIDIA. I also want to take a look at some of these semi names. You got Taiwan Semiconductor, that name on track to open just uh, about off just about 11% to Broadcom, also firmly in the red. So again, lots of action that we are seeing there, lots of selling pressure almost across the board. And I mentioned some of the pressure that we're seeing here across the major averages. I also wanna take a look at what we are seeing play out in the bond market right now, because you got the 10 year yield here dropping pretty dramatically. We have been off just about 18 basis points there, the worst drop that we had seen in just about nine months. The US two year uh, yield right now below the 10 year yield. That's happening for the first time since July of 2022. So again, pressure across the board as we are seeing traders really up their bets that central banks need to act and need to act quickly. Also briefly wanted to touch on crypto because that's also we are seeing some red across the screen when it comes to Bitcoin right now. If you got Bitcoin on track to open off just about 18%, although it trades 24-7 here, so it is falling just about 18%, holding right above that $50,000 level. So again, if we see that fall, Hold here, we're looking at the biggest drop that we have seen since November of 2022. So again, selling that we are seeing across the board here, Brad, as we set up to start a new trading week. Yeah, it certainly seems, uh, of course, coming after last week's activity that we're watching and then really towards the end of the week because we had a lot of economic data that came out and then you had that Fed decision and then you also had more economic data in that worse than expected jobs report, which kind of triggered for this market the mindset of bad news might start to mean bad news if this Fed is too late to cut. Here's what we're also going to take a look at, the VIX up on your screen, and that's bad news right now. The VIX spiking and hitting a level at this marker, a level that is analogous with the COVID pandemic and the heights of the COVID pandemic. And this is, of course, what the street knows as the fear gauge index. And taking a look at just some of those levels here, the biggest daily jump since February 2018, that was back when we were looking at this at about 50 55 and so now we're at 63 we'll see exactly where that is compared to but ultimately let's also zero in on some of the underperformers falling below some key metrics and one of the key metrics that i'm tracking here this morning the 200 day moving average this of course is one of the simplest ways to get uh, a comparison of the average price over a specified period and kind of plotted uh, plotted over time but ultimately Crossing below this 200-day moving average, you've got names like Amazon, AMD, ASML, Salesforce, and Chevron. What's notable about that is that some of these names that are starting to hit below those 200-day moving averages or crossing into them are some of the most actively traded names on the street. Crossing below the 50-day moving average here, a shorter time span, one of the ones that I'm tracking here, or at least several of them, We've got names like Broadcom, Costco, Google, JP Morgan, Microsoft, Netflix, Nvidia, and Tesla. And here's what's notable about some of those names for Microsoft and Tesla. At the start of today's trading activity, they may well cross below those 200-day moving averages.